Hello everybody and welcome back to the CSHL and we're going to start off with a recap again here just so everyone knows who is represented by which team. So Crash Andrews is represented by the LA Royals. The Finn for the win will be represented by the Philadelphia Finns. We've got Newfie Bullet who is represented by the Newfoundland Tigers. And next up we have Arcade Regiment or Phil. Phil the Thrill is represented by the Toronto Tomahawks. Yours truly, that's me, represented by the Washington Whales. We've got Tactics HD, who will be represented by the Detroit Dragons. We've got X-Tech Gaming, who is represented by the Vancouver Lumberjacks. And last but certainly not least, we have Tugi, who is represented by the Boston Bulldogs. Now here's a look at the standings for the previous week. And without further ado, let's go ahead and hop in. To this week's matchups. Let's check out the Bulldogs and the Finns. Both teams are currently 2-2, two and two, so these teams are looking to separate from one another in the standings, but let's see which team will pull ahead and which team will fall behind. Early on here, Panarin with a nice shot. Oveshkin will get the rebound, but that will be stopped. Back the other way, Kaprizov gets a chance in front of the net, but it is backhanded just wide. Kopitar manages to get the puck in front of the net, fires it wide, but a great pass in front to Kopitar will bury the first goal of this game and make it one to nothing for the Bulldogs. A great save there by Igor Shosturkin, and that will be it for the first period. It is one to nothing Bulldogs after one. Now heading into period number two. In the Bulldog zone, Goudreau picks it up, passes it to Kachuk, who's able to walk out, and he hits the post. Goudreau gets it back and fires one just wide. Two great chances there. And then a forward pass to Bjorkstrand, who has a breakaway, but a great defensive play to get back and stop that opportunity. We are halfway through the game here. Arvidsson gets a puck in the middle there. Slot area takes a shot that will be saved. Another good chance for the Finns. Lindholm strips Marino of the puck, gets another opportunity in front there, but that one is blocked. But then JVR is found in front, picks up his own rebound on the doorstep to tie this game up. And we have a 1-1 hockey game here. Couturier will find Goudreau who gets a shot up, but Merzlikens will stop that. And we are headed into the final frame, all knotted up at 1-1. Now in the third period, Bulldogs have it in the Finns zone. A great chance in front there, but Shesterkin will stop that. Back the other way, the Finns on the power play. Some great passing finds Goudreau net side. He is going to bury that one and give the Finns a 2-1 to one lead. Finns get another chance here, but Merzlikens will stop that one. Under a minute to go, Malkin finds line 8 and goes for the backdoor pass, but that will not go in. Another chance here, but it just won't go. The Finns walk away with a 2-1 to one victory, and they are now... Three and two. Both goalies played quite well in this contest, but the Finns were just able to get the better of the Bulldogs. The Dragons and the Whales both have the same record as well. Both teams are currently three and one, looking to separate from one another in this contest. Again, which team will move up and which team will move down? Early on, Ehlers gets a nice shot, but Vasilevsky will stop that one. Washington remains on the attack. Barzell able to walk out, but Vasilevsky will stop that one too. Back the other way, Detroit gets a good chance, but Connor Hellebuck will turn that one down. Another great chance here, and Tavares will bury that one to give the Dragons a 1-0 lead here in the first period. Now Dragons on the power play. Hedman goes for a pass down low. Point finds Nylander, and somehow, someway, that puck ends up in the back of the net. And they find themselves up by two. Hellebuck will make a great blocker save there. Chance in front here for the Washington Whales, but that one won't go either. Minute and 30 left here in the first period. Another unfortunate bounce will make the Dragons go up by three in the first period. That is not the start that the Whales wanted. In the second now, Whales get a chance here. Larkin with a slap shot, but Vasilevsky will see that one all the way through and make a glove save. Hurdle goes for a deke. It ends up finding Bertuzzi in front. And he will get the Whales on the board, making it 3-1 to one now. Whales on the attack again. Vrana picks it up in front, manages to hit the side post there. Now under 10 minutes to go in the second. Geslav with a good opportunity, but that one will be stopped by Hellebuck. A nice backpedal attempt there from the Whales, 
but we will still have a 3-1 game heading into the final period. A big hit there along the boards, but player would be okay. Still 3-1. Some nice deeks here and a good shot attempt, but Vasilevsky once again going to stop that. Couture in the middle finds Vrana, but that will not go. And now we have a final attack here from the Wales, and they are not able to get it done. 3-1 victory for the Dragons. They move up and advance to 4-1, and, and the Wales will fall to 3-2. and two. The Royals are the only team that remain undefeated here with a perfect record of 4-0. and The Lumberjacks at 2-2, two and two, however, are looking to change that. In the first period, Lumberjacks on the attack. Dreisaitl finds Stone. That will be put on net, but Grubauer will make a stop. Yanni Gord gets a chance the other way, but Leonard will stop that one. Taylor Hall. Toe drag shot. He absolutely rips that one home past Grubauer and puts the Lumberjacks up 1-0. A good attempt here. Dalin walks in, and he hits the post off of a great opportunity. Rantanen gets it, goes in front with a backhand, but it won't go. It is 1-0 for the Lumberjacks after one. Heading into period number two. Lumberjacks on the attack again. McDavid with a great pass. Shot on net, and he will get the rebound from Eichel's shot, making it 2-0 for the Lumberjacks. Back the other way, Robin Leonard going to make another great save there. Shabbat decides to go for a little skate here. Gets past two guys, but let's go a questionably weak backhand after having a clear path to the net. It is 2-0 Lumberjacks after two a giveaway here lumberjacks walk in the corner a nice pass out front taylor hall will bury that one for his second of the game and that will make it three to nothing for the lumberjacks who are slowly starting to walk away with this one cousins will bury that on the back doorstep making it 3-1 giving the royals some life here and a great save from grubauer as well but the lumberjacks come back the other way zaka is found in the middle he gets destroyed after taking the shot, but he buries it and puts the Lumberjacks up 4-1. They're not done yet, though. Taylor Hall will get his hat trick late in the third period, and the Royals will take their first loss of the tournament to the Lumberjacks, who advance to 3-2. and two. Grubauer did not have the strongest showing in this one, but Robin Leonard definitely came to play. Both the Tigers and the Tomahawks are looking for their first win in this tournament. Both teams are 0-4. Only one team will get it. In the first period here, Tigers on the attack. Slavin goes for a pass down low to Svechnikov, who's going to bury that one and gets the Tigers ahead early. Clearly, they want to get their first win. Carey Price going to make a great stop there. Tarasenko passes in front. Carey Price once again going to make the save, but the Tigers would head to the power play. On the power play, Marty Natchez is going to go to take a shot and get absolutely destroyed. And then another big hit. The Tomahawks are here to bump and bruise clearly. They've made several big hits already in this one. And there's more where that came from. But there's the Tigers giving them a taste of their own medicine. A big hit. And we have a one nothing game after one. In period number two, Tomahawks on the attack here. A nice pass to Pavelski, but Bobrovsky makes a tremendous glove stop. On the draw, another big hit from the Tomahawks on the point man. But Phil Kessel is found on the back door. And that will give the Tigers another goal. Horvat unfortunately leaves the game after blocking a shot. But the Tigers are now up by two. Newfoundland on the power play again here. A great individual effort. Barkov able to walk past two defenders. And he sends it home on the far side. Carey Price gets beat on the doorstep. It's 3-0 Tigers heading into the third period. Pareko almost coughs it up there and things only get worse for the Tomahawks as Reinhardt will send that one home and make it 4-0. Final minute here. Tomahawks putting on some pressure. Radulov has a battle. He won't get it, but the point man finds him again. A tip from Suzuki will get Toronto on the board, but it's too little too late. Back the other way. Newfoundland with another chance here. Under a minute to go. Keller gets knocked. Tarasenko with a nice shot. But Price was there for that. So yeah, Carey Price did not play phenomenal in this one. But Bobrovsky stole the show, making 24 stops. And on top of that, the Tigers' offense came to play today as well. 
So as you guys can see, there is only one goose egg remaining in the CSHL, and unfortunately, it's in the win column, not the loss column. The Tomahawks at the bottom there, 0 and 5, and the Royals are now tied with the Dragons, who are both 4 and 1. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and yeah, be sure to leave a like if you did. All that good stuff, and I will be seeing you soon.